How's it going? Doing something a little different today. I decided I wanted to just narrate a video from a game I played. So I'm very proud of this. I got to do the speed run in Slay the Spire, which is beat the game in less than 20 minutes. Spoilers, I know. But uh, I just wanted to go over my run. I thought it was insane. I basically made a beam weapon <laughs> that just erased enemies by the end of the run. Um, now the choice I took was transform two cards and take a curse, I believe was the downside. So I'm taking a curse, but um, you know, you're not supposed to take curses in this game, but as you'll see, I took a lot of curses in this game and I managed to win. So you know what? Curses, they're not great, but sometimes it's okay to take a curse. You know, sometimes you gotta. So this first part is pretty standard. I mess up with these stupid friggin worms that I always miss. I always miss by one health. It's always one health. Every single time with these friggin' jerks. I guess it's designed that way, but it, it makes me so mad every time when they have one health left. Like, just take them out. So, I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to try to do on this run. Now, I, I, I had Combust off the hop, so I was like, I want to upgrade that and use that, because I love Combust. I think it's a great card. Especially when you start fighting those multi fights with all the freaking blobs and... Oh, jeez, those can be so annoying. And these stupid birds getting all strength, but yeah, the beginning was all right. You know, I'm taking some hits, making some mistakes, but I'm trying to go as quick as I can. So you'll notice there's a lot of spots where I make a mistake. I think there's even a spot where I end a turn when I still have energy left and I just completely missed it. But no, this guy is a complete dick. I don't like this guy at all. He's a jerk. He's killed me on so many runs. The other day I was playing and I'm, I made a mistake. I used a bunch of skills like a dummy and he just, he did like 50 damage to me in one attack because, you know, I made some mistakes, all right? My deck was full of skills. What can you do? But I, I still wasn't sure what I was going to do. Like, I really was trying to get to an infinite, but that didn't really happen. Um, that kind of got abandoned pretty fast. Um, I just wanted to get to the end of the game. I just wanted to survive, you know? I just wanted to take him out, do what I got to do, go as fast as I can. Um... I think I did surprisingly well for how fast I was going. I've tried this a bunch of times and failed so many times. And so many times I failed just because I was rushing too much and died because I've made a dumb mistake and it could have been prevented if I had a thought for a second. But then again, a whole bunch of my runs ended because I was taking too long. I actually won a bunch of runs, but it would be at like 21 minutes, 22 minutes, 23 minutes and just not have enough time. And this run... I got really worried. I didn't think I was going to succeed on this run. Um, like right here, I was super happy because I had all these multi things just to like save the day. Although I didn't have any energy for the multi attack there. Maybe I should have just multi attacked then the whirlwind, but you know, hindsight. I'm just clicking X as fast as I can pretty much going left and right every once in a while. Oh yeah, later on, once we got to the third tier, after I fought the second boss, I... It didn't have much time. I can't remember what it is. We'll see what it is when we get there. But it wasn't a lot. So I figured I had no chance. But I... I'm, I'm gonna say it. Like, a lot of this was luck. I lucked into an insane combo that I didn't think of at all. And it, it involves Whirlwind. Whirlwind just becomes an absolute monster. Absolute monster in this run. Like, just, like I said, erasing like a beam. A laser beam. Just erasing enemies. It is absolutely wild. And I didn't even think about this combo, but when it comes up, you'll see what I ended up getting for relics to go with. And it's just, it's just de deadly, just deadly. So, so far, you know, I've got the strawberry, a little extra max HP, and I got the uh, blood vial, blood vial. So it's, that's uh, two, that gives you two health at the beginning of each combat. And um, the ice egg, I forget what that upgrades. I think it's skills. It's one of the card types. I think it's skills. So nothing too special right now, but it gets better. Trust me, it gets real better. This is one of the craziest runs I've ever had, and I had so much fun for the last tier. It was just, it just beautiful. And yeah, I took the healing instead of removing a card because I was scared. And you know what? It's probably a good idea. Getting low on health. I like Intimidate, but it only does one, so it's kind of like... No, it's good for turn. It does do hit all of them. I think if you upgrade it, it becomes two, does it? I can't remember. I think it becomes two if you upgrade it. 
but whirlwind is just it's not even upgraded and i don't even have the relic set but i'm appreciating whirlwind a lot in this run already oh excuse me so as you can see i updated or upgraded rather upgraded whirlwind because come on So I had a really good start on this fight. Get to wreck his strength, do a bunch of damage. Like, yeah, that was a, definitely a good draw at the beginning here. Well, that's right. I had two Intimidates in my deck. So there we go. It'll last for two turns now. Problem solved. I was considerably worried here that this guy was going to take me out, but I believed. I believed in my ability to do 250 damage. True Grit, I have come to really appreciate True Grit. I used to think it was an awful card and I hated it. But I just had the completely wrong mindset on exhausting cards. I thought exhausting cards was bad. It's like the best thing. I have since learned my folly. And, and I now use True Grit a lot. Very good card. Especially once you upgrade it and you can pick which card to discard. It's just fantastic. It's nice. Especially you can get rid of curses, you can get rid of burns, it's great. Now I don't have it upgraded yet, which is kind of annoying, but uh, you know, I managed to get all the other cards out of the, my hand, so we would have to get rid of one of the uh, either wounds or burns. I think we got rid of the burn and we finished off with the whirlwind, which is a little foreshadowing for what's coming up. Um, I decided screw it, give me the wounds because I got fire breathing. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to lean into it. Give me curses, give me wounds. I'm just going to fire breathe all over the place. And I do believe I get two Oh, I have two upgraded fire breathings in this run. I'm pretty sure I ended up with two of them in my deck. Yeah, no, I definitely did. So I was doing like 20 damage every time I drew a card. I thought I thought that was pretty nifty, but that wasn't even the exciting part of the deck. <laughs> but that's what I was excited at this point. I was like, hey, that's pretty good. Like, you know, we've got a fire breathing, do some damage every time I get dazed and whatnot. And then that's why I took a second fire breathing later on. This was like, well, I've already got the relic that gives me days. Plus I've got curses. And I think I even took, um, I forget what the card's called. Funny if it was up right here, but it's not. Um, I just skipped. I didn't want any of that crap. Ooh, transform a card. Maybe it was I like, transformed it into it. Did that do it? No. Although zoom is cool. Zoom is good. Um, but it was, it's a card that, um, does, was it 12 damage and puts two wounds into your deck or discard pile or drop pile? I can't remember. I think it's the discard pile. And here it is. We bought the Chemical X and we got the Necronomicon. There's the combo that I lucked into. I didn't even realize at this point what this does. I At this point, I had no idea what I just jumped into. I'm just like, okay, well, Necronomicon's cool. I can play in my big attacks twice. That's nice. And I did take the Chemical X because I had Whirlwind and it was upgraded. I was like, well, let's make that stronger. But I didn't think about this. It's the eraser. Because <laughs> the chemical X makes it do the extra damage, which is just wonderful. And Necronomicon, as long as Whirlwind is two energy or more that you're spending, will play twice. So I was getting the bonus damage, plus well, every first attack each turn was going twice. So I started after I real I actually don't think I realized just how deadly it was right here, because those guys were kind of low in health anyways. I was like, oh, that was pretty good, but whatever. It's only later on maybe this fight or maybe a couple fights later that i really realized no i think it's right here yeah it's right here where i'm like wait that was insane <laughs> i had this realization and i was just like okay that's um okay yeah mm -hmm. all right yeah we're gonna we're gonna take a couple guys out here this combo is absolutely insane do you get chemical x and necronomicon like i like i said i did not plan for this i lucked into this but it's one of the craziest runs ever. And then it's just, like I said, it's an eraser. So I just kept adding uh, whirlwinds. I think by the end I had three or maybe four whirlwinds in my deck. And that was just to ensure that the first time, my first turn, I drew one. Because I always wanted to make sure I had that at the beginning. Always. And I pretty much, I think, from this point forward, almost always had it or drew it in the first turn. There might have been a couple where I didn't. Or maybe there might have been a couple times where there was other cards I needed to play first. But for the most part... I just use Whirlwind to erase everybody, including the bosses. Oh my god, the bosses are just nothing compared to this combo. This combo just wrecks them. And I was excited from like the way the battles were going, but it's when we got to this fight when I really realized this is just stupidly strong. Just stupidly strong. 
So we start with, you know, good stuff. We can debuff him and stuff. Do disarm twice. I used exhum for that. I was, I was proud of that. Minus four. But this is where we just we just erase everybody. <laughs> and that was even with low energy. And that just took them out. And sorry if you hear the clicking in the back, but I didn't have my mic muted, so that's the buttons of the controller, just FYI. Sometimes you might hear me getting mad and kicking the desk as well. There might have been a moment of that as well. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I can't remember. Wouldn't be surprised, though. But look at that. Look at that. This is where I had that moment of realization where I was like, I stumbled upon a nuclear warhead. <laughs> like, this is an insane combo. And then oh, I must have took, I took the potions, right? Yeah, I took the potion thing. I didn't want to give the enemy strength. And I certainly wasn't going to take the collar or fighting Dono and Dino or whatever, the, the diamond and the donut. It's an, it's, uh, I like fighting them. I have died to them before, but like, look at that right there. Blobs, what? Those blobs have killed me so many times, or I usually take damage when I'm fighting those guys. Which is instantly they're dead. Alright, yeah. Remove this. Oh, transform the strikes. I didn't see what they transformed into, but that, that's okay. Probably something good. And I got my second fire breathing, because, you know, my deck is kind of built for it. So now I've got a combo of passive and just ridiculous... Yeah, look, erasing. Just erasing the enemies. I was every time, every fight, I was just, I was just giddy, and I didn't fight here just just to save time because we got, we're at 13 minutes. We got seven minutes. I thought for sure I wasn't gonna make it through the final boss in that amount of time, but whirlwind. This guy was um a little harder because I think it was an intangible, of course, intangible is annoying. But thankfully, I've got my erasing beam there. There, I missed an energy. I could have played a card there. But, you know, we're going fast. You know, I don't got time for this. I don't got time to think. Oh, never mind. He didn't even get to use his intangible. I lied. <laughs> and I took another whirlwind because I was like, you know what? I want to have a freaking whirlwind in at the beginning of every fight. So just pick every whirlwind up that I see. That was my plan. I can fight. I could I could have fought the elite. I could have killed the elite, but I wanted to take it safe because this was going so well. Like, look at that. That fight's usually a, a pain in the butt, too. I, I hate fighting those guys. With all those freaking, like, he ends up getting to, like, 70 block. And he's, like, three, uh, artifacts. It's annoying. <laughs> These guys? Okay, they hurt me a little bit, but what? Now, this is how you get through fights quick. You just you get an erasing beam. Just you erase all the enemies. I was really hoping it wasn't going to be a fight. I just want to save some time. Like, I was getting really worried about it. Because, like, this is so deadly. I was so excited. But I was like, come on. I got to get to the end of time to be able to do this. I got to do it. Like, let's just take these guys out. I was really hoping. And I was starting to get a little discouraged here. I'm like, oh, I'm not getting the right cards. Oh, this is taking too much time. And then, yeah, there we go. It's not the end of the world. At least. It was nice that uh, Reaper plays twice, though. Because the Necronomicon, so that's cool. And I should say the chemical X is not multi or not uh, multi attacks, but it's like X attacks. So anything that says X damage, it increases. I think it's by a factor of two, I think. But to look at that again and see exactly what it is, but it's something like that it increases the damage for your X attacks. I don't know if it's by two, like, so if you spend four, it'll be six times. I think that's how it works. So then we're here already. Like, holy crap, that was fast climbing. And this is the fun part right here. So we had to play the first turn. We didn't get the cards we needed the first turn, sadly. That's okay, because there's the second turn. Now on the third turn, we actually get Whirlwind, which is nice. We use the Strength first, and then Whirlwind. And it doesn't take him out, but it gives him to half. I had another another Whirlwind or something that would have been dead there. But here we go. This is the one, right? Oh, Whirlwind. Look at two Whirlwinds. Done. I guess that was like three turns or four turns, I guess. Four turns. Now, I have got the trophy for beating the... Let's go, Speed Glamour. 16 minutes, baby. That was wild. That was wild. <laughs> <laughs> oh, listen to that. That was great. I totally forgot. That was the mic on uh, the dual sense picking that up. I got very excited because I got another trophy. 16 minutes, three seconds. Pretty good. Pretty good. I threw myself off there though. That was that was funny. I forgot about the excitement. Actually, let's listen to that again. 
Let's go! Speed Glamour! 16 minutes, baby! That was wild. That was wild. <laughs> All the hee hee at the end is just great. Well, I was so excited. I was so excited. But yeah, I have done all the other trophies to beat the game with one relic which was the hardest one that i've done so far beating the game with one relic if you want to get better at this game i highly recommend that you try and do the one relic challenge you beat the game with one relic after that playing the game with uh, as many relics as you can get feels like easy mode now once you start doing the ascensions it becomes harder but it's still i'm at ascension eight right now i need that's the last i need for trophies to get the platinum i just need to get to oh that's right i don't have the key oh but excuse excuse me i got the hiccups all right but yeah i need ascension 10 and ascension 20 i've got everything else um now that i did the speed run it took me a lot of tries on the speed run i kept beating the game but like 21 minutes, 22 minutes, 23 minutes, and it was always a pain. I didn't think I was going to do it on this run. I'm, I was surprised, and that's partly why I was so excited and relieved at the end, because I had tried so many times. I had failed just before this. I did a run now. I just did this off stream. I wasn't streaming at the time. I just, it was late at night, and I felt like playing some Slate Spire, so I played a couple rounds. Managed to get it, so I recorded the gameplay on my PlayStation, which I love the feature of PS5 where you can save your recent gameplay up to an hour. So basically, when you're playing PlayStation, unless you turn the setting off, it's recording for an hour. So you can record the last hour of gameplay that you had. So this was my two runs were like 37 minutes. So I just recorded the whole video and now I decided to just go walk through it, narrate it a bit and just show off my pride. I thought this was a crazy run again, mostly due to luck, but hey, this is an RNG game. That's what's going to happen. All right. Look, I can either be responsible for rolling 20s or I can't. You know, I'm going to say that I'm, I am I rolled that 20. That was me. I did it. All right. I got lucky. I'm going to take it. But I'm very proud because I got this trophy 16 minutes. It took me freaking forever. <laughs> freaking forever. Uh, still, not as many tries as the one relic run, but quite a few. Now we just need to ascend the tower. We need to ascend the spire and we need to slay it like 12 more times and each time getting harder because we're at ascension 8 we gotta get to ascension 20 so those are the only two trophies left ascension 10 ascension 20 then we got the platinum and that's really my goal is i want to get the platinum before slay spire 2 comes out and i am well on track for that i think i can get through the ascensions before next year whenever slay spire 2 comes out 